Okay. How much are you judging me right now? You clicked on this video. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Today I'm coming to you from my car because I'm currently sitting in the Kirkland's parking lot. I'm really excited. I'm going to film a shop with me and maybe a decor haul if I buy anything when I get home. But today I'm just going to take you along with me and go to a few stores and I'm excited to see what home decor and maybe Christmas decor we'll see. I heard it's out here and Hobby Lobby so I'm really excited and we'll just kind of see what we find. Let's go ahead and head inside. So right away, right when I walked into Kirkland's, I immediately noticed that all of their Christmas stuff was so cute this year. This tree is literally goals. Like the ornaments, the garland, so breathtakingly beautiful. I was obsessed. I wasn't able to talk much while I was in the store because Kirkland's has a very open layout and it was the middle of the day so it wasn't very crowded and the workers were like stalking me but I wanted to show you guys these window panes. They're not Christmas but they have such a good selection and all of these trees and all of the neutral pillows were like to die for. I seriously wanted to put everything in my cart. It was all so cute. How pretty is this kind of woodland rustic garland, you guys? I need this. They had such a good selection of little trees and florals this year. They had a wide array of reds and greens but then also your neutrals. Even those blueberry stems were beautiful. They would be so pretty in the winter time. Okay, so now I'm driving to Hobby Lobby. If I'm not looking at you, that's why I'm currently driving, so I wanna be safe. But I wanted to let you guys know that I got some really cute stuff at Kirkland's and I seriously wanted everything. It was all so cute. Their farmhouse stuff right now is like on point. They really upped their game, I feel like. Like I used to enjoy shopping at Kirkland's, but now I just go in there and I want everything. Like everything is so stinking cute. Their Christmas stuff. They had two display trees. They had one tree that was like really neutral and had like big antlers and huge ornaments and like wooden garland and it was gorgeous. Like I seriously might go back and buy all of it to decorate my tree with, but we'll see. I did get a couple of things, but now we're heading, like I said, to Hobby Lobby. So let's go see what stuff they have. So when I got inside, I went right for the Christmas trees and I saw that they had these wicker tree stands. I thought they were so cute and I know they're really trendy now. Let me know in the comments, do you have a stand or do you use a traditional skirt? Because they had such a great selection of stockings and skirts this year too. I feel like Hobby Lobby really stepped up their pillow game this year. They had such a big selection. Look at those faux fur pillows. They are so cute. And of course they always have the cutest signs. I loved that Christmas tree sign. I had those gifts in my cart the entire time I was shopping, but ended up putting them back because I'm not sure if the buffalo check will work. We'll wait and see, but all of the little faux gifts they had this year were so cute. I do not remember these from last year. Hobby Lobby has the best kind of knick-knacky decor pieces, which are great if you have a tiered tray. I know those are really popular for the holidays, so make sure you check Hobby Lobby out if you're looking to decorate one because the little houses and that little tin bucket, the little have yourself a merry little Christmas sign, it's all so cute. It 
was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business. I was obsessing over all of their table decor, all of their Christmas dishes and plates for Santa, and these napkin rings were super cute, but their table runners are my favorite. This one was beautiful, very farmhouse, kind of boho. It could be used year round. In time almost came to a stop, but somehow I knew and made I loved that this runner was neutral, but it still had some red in it. That's kind of my aesthetic for Christmas, and so I'll definitely be back to pick that up. I already have those Christmas tree towels, and I love those. They have the largest selection of floral picks for your tree. They have everything from antlers to berries, all different kinds of greenery. These were beautiful if you want to add some white. I loved everything. And those red beads are so cute. I might have to come back and get those as well. I was also obsessing over these beads. Let me know in the comments which did you like better, these or the red ones. If you're into the blush trend or maybe you have a little girl you want to decorate a tree for, they had the prettiest pink Christmas decor. I was obsessing. Alright you guys, so I just got back from Hobby Lobby. They had so much cute stuff. So much. I'm definitely going to be back buy more there as well I know I said the same thing at Kirkland's but I'm a sucker for Christmas decor and I really do like to go early and see what the stores have when they first bring it out because it really does get picked over and all of the good stuff goes so fast and a lot of times you don't even know because you weren't looking early if that makes sense so I like to really take my time when I'm shopping for Christmas decor and kind of just pick out bits and pieces and that way I can kind of budget that way and just plan that way and really take my time and buy the things that I like um, but I got one big piece for my mantle that I'm really excited about and a few other small things so now we're gonna head home and I'm gonna show you what I got all right you guys today's video is really casual I'm just sitting on my floor and I have my phone propped up but um, I wanted to show you really quickly what I got. I did buy a few things at Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby. So let's start with Kirkland's. I got a bunch of florals. So these are the first ones. They are like a dark eucalyptus, but they're frosted. If you can tell, they're really pretty. Um, I am kind of a floral hoarder. <laughs> if you know me, I literally have a shelf in my closet full of florals that I'm not even using right now like it's bad um but you can't go wrong with a good floral and these actually I think I'm gonna put in my tree um I saw it like that um, at Kirkland's and it was so pretty so these I think are gonna go in my tree this year we'll see though I got four of them and then florals <laughs> I also got these. I thought these were really pretty um, and neutral and kind of farmhousey. They're just, um, I don't know what kind of greenery this is. It's a Christmas stem with berry mistletoe. So the white, they had red as well, um, but I really liked the neutral of the white. So I got three of these. So I think these are going to be really pretty in a vase. And then I got this pillow. It just says Mary on it. I'm totally a sucker for plaid, especially at Christmas time. The red plaid just gets me. So you just can't, you can't have too many Christmas pillows, I feel like. So I saw this one and I snatched it up. I thought it was so cute. There were so many cute ornaments. Like I wanted them all, but they were kind of expensive. So I didn't buy too many. I just got four of the same kind. But look at them. It's fluffy. I've noticed the fur trend is really big this year. They were fur pillows and fur... Um, tree skirts and just like a ton of fur which I'm all about that so I'm really excited but I thought these would add like a really nice texture and pop of white to my tree most of my tree aesthetic is kind of rustic it's got reds and plaids um, but this year I'm going to try to incorporate more whites and make it a little more neutral we'll see 
So I got four of these. I don't know why whenever I buy individual ornaments, I feel like four is the number that I need. It's probably not true, but I just, that's what I feel like. And then the last thing I got, um, usually I buy my Christmas tree ribbon from Hobby Lobby, but I saw that Kirkland's had this one and I don't remember Hobby Lobby having one like this, but it's a burlap, but it has really pretty kind of, it says ombre red and green. I don't see red and green in this, <laughs> but um, maybe it's more in the roll, but it's a, it's a big pack and it was $9.99. Um, but it's just really pretty ribbon. I like to do big burlap ribbon on my tree. So I got two of them just in case. So that's everything I got at Kirkland's. Now let's talk about Hobby Lobby. I, I got more florals. I'm kind of laughing at myself now. But uh, I think this is eucalyptus. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I got more eucalyptus. But it's frosted. So it's got like the little... Um, glitter on it. I think it is super pretty. So yeah, got more florals because apparently I needed more. <laughs> it was 50% off. All of the Christmas decor was 50% off today. So yeah, can't go any that. Someone's walking upstairs. Um, this is not Christmas decor. It's just a hello sign, but my other one broke. So I needed a new one. I have a guest, the guest appearance. Hi, Mom. What is this stuff for? It's cr for Christmas. Oh. Yeah, do you want to come say hi to the camera? Hi, camera. Oh, you got a kiss. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, are you, can you tell everyone if you're excited for Christmas? I'm excited for Christmas, everyone. You are? Oh, another kiss. <laughs> okay, I almost forgot to show you guys. It is massive, y'all. It's just this have yourself a merry little Christmas chalkboard sign. I found it at Hobby Lobby. 50% off was $35 and it's going to sit on my mantle. So I'm really excited about this piece. Emma, what are you holding? I, I don't know again. It's called an ornament. An oh, ornament. It's for the tree, huh? Mm, it's so soft and fuzzy like my bed. It's soft and fuzzy like your bed. Isn't it cozy? Yeah. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. it's gonna be it's really warm. It's warm. Mm -hmm. I love four-year-olds. I got these red measuring cups and I thought they'd be cute on my tiered tray. Um, I usually decorate it for fall and then for Christmas. So we'll see. I thought it was really cute though. And then the last thing I got was this December 25th sign. I think it is so cute. Um, yeah, I don't know how much was it. It was only $5.99. So can't beat that. But anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed my guest star, Emma, <laughs> here talking with me about all of the stuff I got for Christmas this year. This is the tip of the iceberg. I plan on doing a lot more shopping for Christmas. I just kind of wanted to see what was out there today and show you guys what Kirkland's and Hobby Lobby has this year for their Christmas decor. So if you like these kind of videos, make sure you give this a thumbs up and make sure you let me know in the comments because I'll definitely do more for you if you did like it. And I'll see you all really soon in the next one. Bye guys. Can you say bye? Bye.